Hey you guys, it's Brits and I we're here to talk about Brittany Dawn. There is a post that was shared on Reddit and um, I think that this needs to be talked about and I think it needs to be talked about far and wide. I do need to place a trigger warning. This is going to be discussing animal mistreatment, specifically dog mistreatment. So if you are not in a place to listen to this, I fully understand. Um, if you could do me a favor, which I never ask for this, but just leave a like on the video and possibly a quick comment um, because I really want this video to be spread far and wide because I am in absolute shock, horror, and disbelief that this is um, actually where we're at, but we're gonna be talking about one of her previous dogs. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright you guys, so tonight we're going to talk about this post that is over on the Brittany Dawn subreddit, which I will link in my description box. And I'm going to read the post in its entirety and then I will include some photos. If you want to skip the photos, I will place a timestamp on that part of the video when we get there. Because this is a hard listen, but like I said, I think that it is when it comes to criticism on Brittany Dawn. Her poor relationship with her animals is at the top of the list. I would say it's definitely top three. Well, let's read the post. It says, hello everyone. I am an animal advocate and rescuer in Texas. Yesterday I received a call about a starving gray and white pit bull. We went out to rescue him and to our surprise, he had a microchip. He was chipped out of Whitesboro, Texas at Stuckey Animal Hospital, which had been closed for two years. After doing some digging and speaking to Dr. Stuckey, we were able to retrieve the owner's information. This microchip shows that Bernie Don Davis was his former owner, and his name is Nico. Bernie Don Davis also worked at Stuckey Animal Hospital as a vet tech several years ago. This is 100% her dog. He is starving and he is in horrible condition. He is safe now, but will never know another day outside of being hungry. This needs to be brought to everyone's attention. Nico deserves justice and we need answers as to who she irresponsibly rehomed him to that did this. Please help spread the word. This is getting a lot of engagement over on the Reddit page. And I'm going to insert the photos right here of the condition that the dog was found in. If you do not want to see these images, please skip to this timestamp right here. I would also like to say that there has been an update to this post since it was originally shared. And there is a GoFundMe. I'm going to read that post because it gives a little more information. It says, Nico was found wandering a construction site starving on March 10th, 2024. Today is March 11th, by the way, when I'm filming this. Nico is safe and will be headed to the vet very soon for a full checkup. He is currently being fostered independently without a rescue, meaning medical care is coming out of our pockets and can get pricey. If and when he is enrolled into a rescue, all funds will be transferred to the 5013C rescue. Thank you for thinking of our sweet boy. We upped the goal a little bit as Nico has several lumps that need to be tested. If they are cancerous, it could be thousands to remove the lumps. His skin infection will be pricey to treat. He has overgrown nails and desperately needs to put some weight on. Nico is in very rough shape but he is a fighter now if y'all are wondering what Brittany dawn's relationship or lack thereof with this sweet dog was she essentially um she left him with a dog trainer 
And then she came back and said that the dog didn't fit in with her lifestyle because she was too busy because that, back then she was a fitness influencer that as a reminder was scamming her own customers out of money and exploiting people with EDs and not following up on her promises that she was being paid to f fulfill. This is like, this really encapsulates just what an awful individual she is. And I want to um, show you guys a screenshot because she has a long history of bad relationships with animals. Coco was a small dog that was in her life around 2014. Nico was 2018 to 2019. Brody, as I've covered in detail on my channel, 2019 to 2021. Remy, Oakley, Dax... Kita, Harlow, I mean, I really struggle with this because, listen, I realize that, you know, some people fall on really unfortunate circumstances, and hey, I've always said that if I was that person who ever faced being unhoused, um, I... I I'd be that person with, you know, literally living with my dog and feeding him instead of feeding myself because I really look at dogs as family and I just couldn't imagine offloading a pet like that and she's done it multiple times. I think that she's a horrible individual and for her to sit there and act as if she is this Christian woman and so pure and cares so much, um, I see right through it. I think that she is the biggest crock of sh** that I've come across on social media in a long time. And I, I think that she is a monster and I think that she is a missing her soul. So, um, you know, I, I shared something on my Instagram story the other day, and it was, um, you know, basically, like, you can tell what kind of person someone is by the way that they treat animals. Here's how you know that somebody is a bad person, that they are not to be trusted. And this is a simple rule that goes back to the German poet Goethe, who basically argued that you can judge somebody's character by how they treat animals. In fact, Goethe wrote, never trust someone who treats animals poorly for clearly they have no soul. And I think this is a pretty good rule of thumb. I think you could even expand it to say that you can judge someone's character by how they treat children or how they treat the elderly. Basically, it means that if you're kind and caring for those who can do nothing for you, or perhaps better, those who are more vulnerable than you, then you are a good person. And vice versa, if you treat children or the elderly or animals poorly, then by definition, you are a bad person. I would add one thing though, however, it is possible to be a bad person and to nevertheless love animals and love children and love the elderly. It's not mutually exclusive, but never trust somebody who treats animals poorly. Goethe. I think that it really fully encapsulates like why I put such an emphasis on how do you treat your pets? How are you with your animals? Are you somebody who um, you know, do you have it in you to offload or mistreat, abuse, malnourish an animal? Um, you know, and here, here's my whole thing. The last thing I want to say to close this video out is that if she was somebody who was in such a tough position and, um, you know, let's just say that she didn't leave them at the dog trainer or leave her dog at the dog trainer and just, you know, poof, vanish. Let's say that she really fell on hard times and she needed to rehome her dog and she found somebody who was, uh, you know, who she thought was a responsible dog owner and then turned out to not be such a great person. That microchip would have been updated. That microchip would have been um, updated to at least somebody aside from Brittany Dawn. Let's just say the dog lived in multiple homes. Brittany Dawn, as that dog's owner, giving it to somebody else whom she thought was a good person, um, that microchip should have been updated immediately. Pause to read this email regarding her rehoming situation. Y'all can read it from here. This is just confirming what a 
terrible person Brittany Dawn is. In my opinion, allegedly, allegedly, this is all a legend. If she didn't abandon the dog with a trainer, I could see her being the type of asshole that would just literally leave the dog somewhere and drive off. Because I think that she is such a heartless monster. I really hope that this story goes completely viral. I hope that people on TikTok, I hope people on Reddit, I hope people on Instagram, and people on YouTube spread this as far as they can. Because, as I said, of all the things that she has been discussed over, how dare you? Brittany Dawn is missing her soul and she is a garbage person in multiple ways. So either way, I don't want this video to be too long. I know that it's a very upsetting topic. I will link this GoFundMe and the Reddit post in my description box for y'all. Of course, no pressure, but if you are in a position to donate five or $10, by all means, the link is there, but there is no pressure. I totally understand. We're all kind of in a, a financial crunch as of, it seems like the last, you know, two years, at least for me personally, but I will link it just in case you do feel like you want to help monetarily. But that's going to be it for tonight. So if you like the video, please leave a like in the comments. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I know. I'm all done. You want to say hi?